what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to figure out what year your outboard is from the model number. Keep watching. First of all, right here on the uh, transom, you can see where the model number plate is, and it's right, and it's right here. And right there is mine. You can see the model number is E30 or EIC. So let's check it out. All right, so the E here is the style, whether it be a Johnson, Evan Road, commercial, or quiet ride, whatever, you know. It would either be an E, a J. If there was another uh, model variation, there would be a letter here, whether it be for Australia or Canada or whatever. There might be another C or a C or, a, or an A or something here, but for mine, we don't have that. So we got the E for Evan Root. Next one is going to be the uh, horsepower right here, HP. The R, the R is going to stand for, it kind of gives us some of the features of it. The, this R here stands for rope start. It also, if you look in the book, it will also tell you that it will be a manual uh, primer. You know, if that was an E, it might be electric primer or something. But, you know, so we're rope start, manual primer on the R's. Next two letters right here, these are the ones you want. That tells you the year. And the way you do this, is they spell out introduce so and zero so if you look this up the EI the E is the nine and the I is one so this motor here is a 1991 so if you go your introduces number it these two here, and this last one is considered a model run number or a suffix. So if you order parts and it tells you suffix or model run, this is C. If you had another, if you had an L or a Y or an X or a Z right after this R, that would be either a, uh, it comes with a 15 inch length standard, so you're not going to have anything there. If it's a L there, it's going to be a 20 inch length. If there is a uh, Y there, it's going to be 22.5, like a special. And then if it's an X, it's a 25 inch extra long. Or a Z right in between these two would be an extra, extra long. So, you know, all this, this model number tells you a lot. But anybody that's looking for the year, it, it would be right here. The last three, it would be the, you know, before the end. Because, like I said, there could be one here. There could be more numbers there and everything. But if you count back three from the end and do that, you're going to come up. Then do your introduces. And one to nine, then zero. See, and so, like, you know, an ED here would be a 96. E is nine. And then the D is six. That's it. Okay, this chart here is going to be from motors 1980 to 1998. So if yours falls in there somewhere, this chart's going to fit. That's the chart that you need. If you have a model 19, 1999 to uh, 2001, your style is going to be, you know, the E or the J, horsepower, you know, might be here, it's going to be here whether it be a, you know, 70 or whatever. 
Then you're going to have your design features here, whether it's a P or whatever, or a, or a C would be counter-rotating, you know. And then you're going to have uh, your shaft length over here is going to be, you know, like, like I said, like a Z would be a 30 inch shaft. Then you're going to have a number here, whether it's three or four cylinder. Then you're going to have your introduces here. Then you're going to have two, two letters beside each other, like an EE -E would be a 99. You know, EE would be 99. So then you got your suffix on the end, whether it's an A or a C or whatever, you know. Well, I hope it helped you. I hope I didn't just confuse you, but if I did, let me know. And uh, we'll see if we can simplify it. But like I said, the easiest thing, if you're just looking for the year, introduces, number it out, and it will be the... Uh, Second and third from the end will give you your year model. Hey, if you like my effort here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day.